Hey, I'm Ted Vieira, and uh, today I'm just going to do a short video, what's in my bag? And um, I'm just going to talk about my street photography bag, so it'll be an even shorter video. This is the Bowery. It's uh, from Ona, O-N-A, onabags.com, if you want to check this out. I love this bag. I did just a short uh, video on this uh, a little while ago. You probably don't need to go check it out, though, because you'll, you'll kind of see pretty much everything you need to know about this bag from this video. You know, I, I never used to take anything extra when I'd go street shooting. I would just grab my X100, the original, and I would grab a couple extra batteries, throw them in my pocket. So that's the extra stuff I guess I would carry. But I could just throw those in my pocket. I'd get in the car, go downtown, uh and do my shooting get in the car go back home and that was it uh but like a few months ago i picked up the uh fuji xt1 and so now i can change lenses and that camera is really not that much bigger than the x100 um so since i had that camera now and i did have the option to bring extra lenses with me um that was too fun to pass up so i figured i'll go ahead and pick up a nice little bag and uh Everything so I can fit whatever I want to fit in there, take it with me on my street shoots. Um, so let's take a look. Um, of course, the first thing that comes out, CXT1 with um, my 35 f2 uh, lens on there. I love this combination. This lens is probably on the camera 85 to 90 percent of the time. It's the can. It's just my shoot everything lens. If I'm doing a photo shoot, I'll probably use the 56 1.2. I might use this. Um, if I see a beautiful sunset or a beautiful sunrise, I'll probably throw the 14 on there. Um, but 85 to 90 percent of the time, this is what you see. Another thing that I, I like about this lens is that the body's weather sealed and this lens is weather sealed. So if I'm downtown street shooting and, and the weather changes, I don't want to have to stop shooting because I think you can get some of the best street shots um, in bad weather. You get all that, you get more contrast, you get uh, that that shine, that reflection off the streets, um, glass on window panes, and, and uh, just beautiful stuff. I don't want to stop shooting. I want to keep going. I wish Fuji would uh, weather seal all their XF lenses. Wouldn't that be awesome? I would love that. I hope they do someday. Anyway, that's the camera and, and the, my main lens there. So since I've got the 35 with me, I want to bring a wide angle just in case. And I'll usually bring this one. This is the 16 f 1.4. And um, I could take the 14 and throw that in there. It's got that uh, a little, even a little cooler uh, wide angle. But again, this is weather sealed. So if I'm out shooting and I want to use this and the weather changes and it's raining, I can keep going. That's an awesome lens too. It's an amazing lens. And then uh, lens cloth, because you never know, <laughs> right? Um, and then since I got Wi-Fi now with that with this camera, I'll take this with me, the little Instax, uh, Instax SP1 printer. Because uh, if I'm talking to somebody, I want to do some street portraits. This is cool. Then I can take a, uh, take a street portrait and I can share it with them. And I know it makes it a lot more fun for me. And I think it does make it a lot more fun for them too. They seem, they seem to enjoy it. I know I enjoy it and it does make it more fun. So anyway, think about this if you're not doing this. It really, really can be a lot of fun. Um, then on this side, I'll bring a couple extra batteries with me. Because, you know. And... This is the uh, EFX8. This is the little uh, flash that comes with the XT1. And um, I'm not going to be doing any high production uh, Joe McNally stuff with this. But, you know, if I want to take somebody's portrait, it's low light or night shooting with it, I do a lot. Um, at least I've got it. So that's cool. And boy, it doesn't take up any more room hardly than the battery does. I've got a couple memory cards. And. Um, I don't really put anything in the front pouches. Um, I, I suppose if I wanted to, I could bring like some ex extra Instax cartridges with me if I wanted to do that. This side pocket over here, I put business cards in. This one's empty. And on the back, you get this pouch here. And I'll bring a notebook because I've just recently, within the last few months, just started journaling um, about my uh, what's happening with me photographically. <laughs> It's, it's a pretty valuable thing. I, can th I think it can really help you kind of 
get a closer look at your own process and, and what you're going through uh, in your photographic development. Is that a, a term, photographic development? You know, developing yourself as a photographer, what kind of thoughts you had, your concepts, why you shoot the way you shoot. Um, if you're not uh, journaling, having a, f a photography journal, try it for a while. See if, if you don't uh, find it useful. It's very cool. I recommend it. Try it. Might not work for you, but try it. Um, okay, that's it. Bag's empty. Let me get this flat back here. Two pouches up front. You can see it's emptied out. Anyway, that's the Bowery from Ona, onabags.com. And um, if this, I hope you found this enjoyable <laughs> or even maybe a little bit useful if you're thinking about uh, carrying around a similar system and things like that. It's a great bag. And um, pick up an Instax printer if you don't have one. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm Ted Vieira. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.